25 in the evening, and my pastor's daughter and I were next to each other, and we both went for it at the same time. And it was funny because I posted that on Facebook, and another girl said, from my class, said, I could save that night too. I said, there's three of us, <laughs> all at the same time. We didn't even notice. And that very same year, my grandmother said I should take piano lessons and, and pay for the first year. She took the lesson before me and then mine. So she knew if I practiced or not, because my teacher told her that. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting enough, my mother allowed me to stop taking lessons August when I went to college, when I was ni almost 19. So it's interesting how God takes things from one perspective. My playing was totally different then. And now, God takes what he, I see on the page and makes it different because my heart is different because I'm older now. But one night in January, God woke me up with this song. And I hadn't played the song, hadn't sung the song for ages, ages and ages. But God gave me that song and I woke up and I, I, it was just coming through so clear, and he was speaking to me so clear. And then I said, okay, and at 2.30, I got up and I just started playing. And the Lord and I cried and prayed for about an hour. <coughs> but I'd like to play Greatest Life Faithfulness. <laughs> Glasses. <laughs> that happens with age, too. <laughs> <laughs> 